Oh, good morning, good morning. I don't know if you guys can see me. Skittles. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. So this is a clean battle. Oh, I'm trying to get in the... <laughs> okay. That's better. Okay. So, here we go. Ooh, I have another mouse. Okay. That's better. Good morning. Good morning. It is 8.38 here in the DMV area here. I'm in Starbucks on 7th in Indiana. Come out and see me today. Support me. I'll be here for the next hour. And you guys know this Laqueen Battle have a schedule. Look at my schedule. Donate to me and see what you can do. I'm here in the DMV area until Friday, Saturday, September 4th and 5th. Okay, so this Laqueen Battle stands on vaccinations. I completely support the movement towards towards booster shots. Booster shots are great. It would help to reboost your um, immune system against what any kind of uh, Delta variant or any kind of additional um, exposure or additional changes from the COVID, COVID um, pandemic. Okay, right now we, excuse me, right now we have lost almost 600 to 700 50,000 Americans from this COVID pandemic for the past year, two, three years, okay, since the start of the pandemic. So I would encourage you guys to continue to go out there, get a booster shot as needed, PRN, as needed, okay? The main thing about a booster shot is you are still, I'm a certified medical assistant. I have done both clinical and also administrative work in doctor's offices. Booster shot is still a boost, it still, it still is an injection. It is still an injection, okay? You are still going to get the injection of the same vaccine, okay? But at the same time, the same injection means the same symptoms, okay? Maybe your body will um, have built a defense against the um, against the, the, uh, cis virus or against the symptoms of COVID-19. Either yes or no, but you still may or may not exhibit those same symptoms, okay? I'm trying to speak into medical term as well as make it basic layman's terms for you families and your loved ones. I'm going to share this on my Facebook groups too as well, okay? It's great to get a booster shot. I'm saying this from a medical assistant, allied health professional view. It is great to get a booster shot, but at the same time though, you may still experience the same symptoms that you went through before from the first or two shots of the dosage that you received from Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, whatever vaccine company that you had before, okay? Booster shot may exhibit the same symptoms, okay? Like I said before, the second shot also has some people more a little bit more sicker than the first shot, okay? But still, you may exhibit the same symptoms, fine, okay? Again, right now, the school fall semester is about to start. So, September the 1st is tomorrow, okay? Um, a lot of colleges, universities are about to start their semesters in about um, Howard University, predominantly one of the first HBC, founded HBCUs here in these in the United States, is about to start their fall fall classes. It's Friday, September the third. Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts, Cambridge, Massachusetts starts their classes in two to three weeks, September the fifteenth, around that time. I would encourage students, college students as well as just the university staff and personnel, to continue to get vaccinated, whether or not your um, your company or your employer says it is mandatory to get a vaccination uh, to continue employment I would still say though uh, is on up to your own regimen okay so it happens all the time this happen this issue comes up all the time especially when people deal with the flu shot okay it's the same issue some people it's not necessarily a religious issue, but people have the same issue with flu shots. They can still um, deny, decline the flu shot. You get a statement from your doctor saying, we decline this flu shot. You send it, the, the statement from your doctor to the provider, to your employer, and that employer will review that statement from your doctor and say, your, your doctor authorized you to decline the flu shot in order to continue employment. Same issue with the COVID test. COVID vaccination, okay? You can still receive a, a statement from your doctor or your practitioner saying you decline the COVID vaccination, okay? Take that statement to your doc to your employer and it should be, okay, I don't think there's really any issues with um, discrimination, but if you do have issues, again, it's the same thing. It happens all the time when the government is exposed to a new crisis, Ebola, uh, chicken flu, chicken pops, whatever it is, you still have to get vaccinated. You still have to get vaccinated against this new 
cauliflower disease, whatever it is, um, any legal issues, consult with an attorney, consult with the legal representatives. But in my opinion, a statement from a medical practitioner should be advised, okay? That should be okay. People are trying to say, making it a big deal. It is a big deal. A woman just lost custody of her son because she did not get COVID vaccination. That is a big deal. But at the same time though, have a little bit of discretion, okay? Right now we're going through the pandemic, okay? This is a new, a new boring illness to the to the uh, American econ to the American citizens, even though COVID SARS, COVID-2 SARS has been in existence for about five to 10 years in the scientific community. Uh, people have known about COVID-2 SARS. Um, it's been a, a different variant of SARS and according to the World Health Organization, but still same thing before with the influenza shot, as well as if you are in the community that do not support, you are a part of the families, um, in a community that do not support vaccinations, you already know how it is when your students go to school every single year and you do not support them getting vaccinations. Still be advised, get a statement from your doctor to the school district, as well as to your employer saying that we declined the vaccination this year. It has been reviewed by our doctors, okay? That should, that should be as best, in my opinion, okay? In Queen Battle's opinion, as a medical assistant, allied health, community health um, person. All right, so decline the flu, decline the COVID vaccination sh vaccination shot. Get a statement from your doctor. If you decline the COVID vaccination, please, I would still insist, please continue to get tested for COVID nineteen. Okay, whether you want the vaccination or not, I would still insist to still get tested for COVID nineteen. Okay, so you may exhibit positive. Are negative symptoms of COVID-19 you should still continue to get tested okay okay there's a nasal swab so throat swab whatever kind of testing is possible PCR test uh, whatever testing still get tested for it okay please get tested for it. you may change okay there's different variants there's a Delta variant that's come out people getting new symptoms for it um, as long as you get tested for it you can recover from it and then uh, figure out if you want to from there what symptoms you what symptoms you're exhibiting, and then d define that of how you and your medical practitioner will best do to recover from this from the Delta variant. Okay, continue to get tested for COVID-19. Talk with your your provider about whether you want to get the vaccination or not. Regardless. Please continue to get tested for COVID-19. Continue to get tested as well as for you and your kids because the school semester is about to start. Okay, now this is what I want to talk about. Um, vaccination efforts. As you know, the United States government is supporting, okay, uh, vaccinations. Vaccinations is good. Continue to get, get vaccinated, okay? There's also been arguments, legal court issues, legal battle issues in courts. People do not want to get vaccinated. People do not want to get vaccinated. They do not want to get vaccinated. It doesn't have to be anything coronavirus related. Just in general, in general, people do not want to get vaccinated for any any kind of illness. It doesn't have to be coronavirus. It doesn't have to be influenza. It could be MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella. It could be, uh, you know, against any kind of illness. People just refuse, decline to get vaccinated. Regardless of whatever kind of whatever kind of issue is, still consult with your primary care practitioner. It doesn't necessarily have to be a medical doctor, but whoever is in charge of your physical health, your mental and your physical health, consult with them. As well as if you need to make an emergency trip to the emergency room, consult with the emergency room physician. Consult with the allied health care physician. Consult with a a psychiatrist consult with um, a practitioner consult with a counselor community health advocate whoever is in health related field consult with them okay uh, right now this dust of air is still in the air is exposing more people to to COVID-19 and we want to still encourage you guys to go out there talk with a monster doctors do what is best and necessary and needed to continue to get to continue to talk about this between you and your family loved ones and what to do okay there's a new illnesses i'm just dealing with this this son 
there's new new illnesses that happen all around the world every single day every single day but you still have to take care of what is best for you your family and your loved ones okay continue to make best efforts be informed about what any kind of new research is going on in the medical community it's okay to watch the media to watch the news but always take the news with a grain of salt okay make sure that if you whatever you're watching is in the news is backed up by uh, research in the medical community so if you see a news report on TV go to their website go to their article and look it up on the on the American Medical Association I looked at the same article that same journalist that same doctor do a quick research check on them and making sure they can back up what they're saying by real fact real rules okay help, help make sure that they can back it up too okay all right so uh, this is a queen battle i would encourage you i have a lot of family that are against vaccination efforts and against vaccination rules i would still encourage you guys to go out there if you decline vaccination efforts that's fine but please consult with your primary care practitioner you can make vaccine it doesn't have to be the COVID vaccination it can be any kind of vaccination rules okay it could be a political issue, a religious issue, whatever it is, just talk about it with a healthcare practitioner and making sure that your own personal health is up to date. You know, you and your doctor know what's going on in the medical community and know how COVID affects you and your family. You can watch as many, many uh, Facebook, YouTube, online social media videos that are scaring you to death about COVID, saying it's a devil, devil disease, whatever it is, but just making sure you talk to a real person that's actually with know what's going on, go to a doctor, go to a nurse, go to emergency room, talk to somebody in the healthcare field, talk to a counselor, talk to a community health advocate, and ask them, can you tell me a little bit more about COVID-19 instead of watching a YouTube video or, or, or a media video, a 10, 15 second video saying COVID is the devil, okay? Make it a personal issue, okay? Make it a personal issue. Talk with this between you and your family and your loved ones, okay? COVID is not the devil, but it is affecting the black community down south more, Texas and Georgia, okay? The best thing I would suggest, the best thing I would, COVID is not the devil. The best thing I would suggest is talking about it with you and your primary care practitioner about what is the latest updates about what is going on, okay? All right. So this is a queen bottle about a first aid responder service. The sun is shining and it is hot and muggy. The sun is shining loud and bright and clear here on Tuesday morning, 8.50 p. 8.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the United States in Washington, D.C. Very happy to be here today. Again, oh, this, this sun. Talk about what the, the latest research and the latest vaccination was going on between you and your doctor on COVID-19, okay? Be informed, okay? You can decline it, but if your, your employer says it's mandatory, make sure that employer has a statement from your doctor, a person, a certified per, a a registered certified person, okay, in the medical community, you have a certified letter from them saying you decline it, decline the COVID vaccination, decline it, and then bring that to your employer, and that should suffice, okay? It goes to, this issue happens every year. ADA laws all around, okay? These laws happen every single year, okay? People have go through vaccination um, battles every single year. We decline the vaccination for ourselves and our families. It's not just a COVID vaccination, it's just vaccinations in general. Talk about it between you and your provider. Okay, you and your healthcare practitioner. Okay, so this is a clean battle. Battle first aid responder services, a certified medical assistant, adult and pediatric first aid, American Heart Association, community health. Love you guys. Continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Send donations to PayPal, in, uh, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, electronically virtual cash donations. PayPal, Cash App, Venmo to Battle First Aid Responder Services as well as to MT Bank for the Queen Battle. Okay? Love you guys. Continue to keep your thoughts and prayers.